We want to give a shout out to Ashley is Forever. Thanks for the request and just craft it. Start by cutting out all the pieces that you need for your ATM out of foam board. You can also use cardboard, but you might have to make a few measurement adjustments. I also like to label the pieces as I cut them out, so I know where to glue them once it's time to put it together. Printing out these pictures from our blog also helps on the step-by-step -step instructions. To get the straight edges when cutting foam board, you'll need a fresh X-Acto knife or the Foamworks tools. And the only thing you need to put this together is hot glue. First, you'll need to attach the two bottom ATM supports to the top of the bottom ATM supports. So put the two bottom supports up like this, and then glue the top support right on top. It'll be flush on one side, but the other side will only cover about half of the foam board. You need to leave room to put a piece sitting right on top. Now that that's glued, take the two number pad supports and glue them right into place. Follow the diagram that we give you, but you'll need to leave 1 and 3 16 inch space in between. Now take the front and the top of the ATM number pad supports. One piece will sit right on top where you left the space. Glue that on. And then the other one will sit on top of the supports. This is where you're going to put your number pad later. Now glue the back of the ATM into place. It might be easier to lay it down on your surface. Then you can glue on the front of your ATM and the top of your ATM. The front of your ATM is going to sit right behind the number pad. So it kind of looks like a chair when you see it like this. Now you can take the ATM screen and glue it right into place. I just have it sitting right on top of the number pad support. And then you can take the two sides of your ATM and glue them to the sides. Now your ATM is completely put together, so you'll want to paint it whatever color you want. Typically ATMs are a gray color, so we're going to paint ours gray and then come back. You can find these ATM printables on our blog, AmericanGirlIdeas.com. Click on the post, and underneath materials needed, you can click on the link. Print out your money and all the signs. We're using sticker paper, that way we can just fold the money in half, and it has a front and a back. The same for the credit cards. If you don't have sticker paper, a glue stick will hold it in place just the same. Now you can take the signs for your ATM and stick them right into place. Again, if you don't have sticker paper, you can use double-sided tape or a glue stick. Put the screen on and all the screen buttons. Don't forget to show what cards are accepted. And you have to have a keypad, of course. For the credit card slot, we just took a scrap piece of foam board, cut a little slit in it, and stuck it right on the front. You can also use craft foam or any type of materials you have just put a little slit in it, that way the credit card can stick in it. And then for the money slot, we also took a scrap piece of foam board, put glue on the very bottom, and then attached it from the bottom and held it up so it's kind of at a slant, but that way it's not completely flush with the front of the ATM. That way there's a little gap in between, and the money can sit right in it. Your doll's ATM is now complete, and they can grab money whenever they need to. We don't know if we need to make a wallet next or a checkbook. Leave us a comment and tell us what you think.